Well hello everybody, it's Andrea and today we're going to be continuing to colour in Hamish from um, Terry Pratchett's Discworld and have a quick catch up and see how you're going and see what's happening in the world of colour tube. I'm just going to go over his face with some white just to blend in the blues a bit better. So how are you and what have you been colouring? So I've been colouring loads this week which is unusual. Um, I've done four, completed four pictures since Halloween and I'm now, I've got two more on the go other than this one. I don't normally have a lot on the go because I don't like to um, have too much on the go because I get I get I get really uptight about it. I like it all to be um, all. To, I, I like it all to be. I like to finish one and start a new one. I I, I get a bit. I freaked if I got too many on the go. So I'm just going to do his hair and his eyebrows next. So this is Ginger. So we're using Dewent Colour Sauce. But yeah, I started one in um, the Creative Haven Autumn Scenes. And uh, I was sitting there last night, the other night, thinking, oh, I'll do some colouring, but I, I, I'm just not feeling autumn scenes. So I started one in Jade Summer Vampires 2. And I just sat there all night and I finished it. <laughs> so it didn't take me very long to do at all. So, And then I started one in, I think it's Hidden Garden, which is another Jade Summer book. And I'm just, just using the feelers in that one just to see what they're like. And I'm kind of liking them at the moment. I've only done a tiny little bit because it's really late. Um, other than that, I think I know what I'm going to be colouring next. Which is one of the pictures from the book. And I'm not going to be able to prize this. It's Smelja Snova. The Croatian book I think it is which I got from a Facebook uh, group I'm a member of. Because I wanted something, I, I just find that some of the Jade Summer ones, they are quite simple pictures, they're not that complicated. And I did want something a little bit more complicated to, to challenge me. So I thought I would pick one of those. So. I know which one I'm doing, so it probably won't be on camera because I'm still doing this one and this is going to take a while. Um, I'm going to be doing shorter videos for Colour and Chat, just simply, or Colour and Catch Up as I call it, just simply because the last one, which was 54 minutes, took up five hours to upload onto YouTube and it's ridiculous that it's taking that long. I mean, I'm putting up a 25 minute video on my on booktube video of, of my October wrap up, it was 25 minutes and it's like over two hours, just, just for 25 minutes. And it just seems like, I've got something stuck in my hair, a piece of paper. Um, it's just an awful long time. Um, to upload something that's not that long. I mean, I can I could get it taking a long time if it's a an hour long video, but not you know it's, it's just it's just such a long 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 haul, and I was up I mean it didn't matter because when I was uploading the other day, I had the next day off. So it didn't matter, but if I've got work the next morning and it doesn't finish uploading until gone midnight, I'm like, oh, I gotta get up and go to work. So at least until I finish 
work. I will be doing them a little bit slower, so I will be keeping an eye on the time. So it just means that there will be more parts in the, um, if we colour the whole thing. So. But that's okay. There'll be more, I've got some more flip throughs to share with you. Um, I tend to bulk film them when the books come in <laughs> and then just load them when I haven't got as long to, to do stuff. So, for instance, um, I'm working 10 sixes this week and then I got a week off and then I'm on 10 six again. So, what I will do is when I'm on those 10 sixes, that is when I will be. using the um the 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 flip throughs it's just so that there's something going up i don't want you to think i've forgotten you i do find it frustrating that i can't film very much when i'm on a 10 6 shift because i when i'm on an 8 4 i do have it all done before paul comes home from work so i dinner's ready I've done my bit of filming for the day, I've got dinner ready and then Paul comes in and we sit down and have dinner, do the washing up because we do not have a dishwasher. I know. There's no space in our little kitchen. Excuse me. Um, and then we just like to sit down together and talk about the day and what's happening next so it's very difficult to do that if you're uh, filming the only day I film quite a bit on a, a 10 to 6 is a Friday and that's because it's Friday reads um, but I mean I will sometimes film on a, film on a 10 to 6 shift if Paul's out so uh, for instance if Paul goes out one evening and it's not a Friday to meet his friends. I'll I'll film. I'll have my dinner. I'll wash up and then I'll set the camera up and I can film for you. But um, I don't think it's fair that he's been at work all day. I've been at work all day and we haven't seen each other. And then I'm spending all my time either at the table or upstairs in the, the book room filming. It's not fair on him really. So... I prefer to do it when he's out, which is going to be okay when I'm on my leave, on my mat leave, because I can do, oh, that just broke, make sure the nibs out, try again, um, I can make sure that the, uh, I get up in the morning, I'll have my breakfast pot around, do anything I've got to do, do some bits, and then I can have lunch film in the afternoon or in the morning either way around and then I can obviously get uh, tea the uploading and the editing it doesn't matter if he's home when that happens because I just let it go in and I just go sit back with him. So I'm just doing the uh, stripes on Hamish's trousers. He's all got tartany trousers on. I'm not really paying much attention to the lines, I'm just doing them. Are you all watching on TV? If you if you watch a lot of TV, I, like I said I don't. Um, 
I can hang off so many booktube <laughs> and uh, colour tube people to watch and photo do because I, I do follow a lot of photographers as well that I uh, try and watch my YouTubers rather than anything else so I love my YouTubers I love watching them, whether it's colour tube or book tube or photo tube, Hollywood tube, <laughs> I could call them all sorts of things. Um, for instance, I was watching, there's this great YouTuber named Jordan Lee. If I remember, I'll put a link. So if you're interested in like entertainment history and Hollywood and things like that, Jordan lives in Hollywood and he vlogs daily um, various things. And uh, one of the recent ones he did was a place called Rockhaven Sanitarium. And this is uh, it was a sanitarium with a difference in, in the sense that the women were, it was for women only. And they were treated like individuals. They weren't treated like patients. They never called them patients. They called them residents. It was more like a sort of like a rest home than anything else, although they did have... Um, psychiatric treatments and medication um, and some of the people who stayed there one of them was uh, Billy Burke who played Glinda in The Wizard of Oz and the first wife of Clark Gable whose name escapes me who was a acting teacher and also the sister of his fourth wife was in there for a while but the most notorious resident they and they do readily admit this was a lady named Gladys Baker Eli and Gladys Baker Ely was Marilyn Monroe's mother. So you can imagine that was fascinating for me because um, Rockhaven was nearly destroyed earlier this year. There was a chance that it would have been um, knocked down and developed because the land, but um, it's been saved. It's sort of being restored with donations it's open twice a month once for tours they're only allowed in there two days two days a month one is to do a tour if they have a group book in and the other day is to go in and do cleaning and maintenance so the city have been a bit obstinate about that which is a shame because it would be better if they could get in there more often to do maintenance but it was really fascinating because Jordan did a, a two-part there was three episodes but there were two parts of the actual tour and you got to see the home through the home and then in the second episode they actually went into the room that was Gladys's and showed you her room and told some stories about her because she was notorious for trying to escape from the premises and one of the the uh, escape attempts she had was that she escaped through a closet window by knee, knee, um, knotting together, tearing up and knotting together a bed sheet and she climbed out the window and the, the window was really small. Gladys was a tiny little lady. She never lost her drive for independence, that woman. She would have been probably classed as bipolar today rather than a schizophrenic um, obviously mental health medicine was very 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 poor back in those days it was in its infancy I, we don't know enough about it today but we know a lot more than we did then but and she um, she escaped several times but the most notorious attempt was through the window and she stayed there past when Marilyn died. It was an expensive place, this place. It wasn't It wasn't a cheap place. It wasn't a state-run place. What had happened was when Marilyn's mother was committed to somewhere called uh, Nor Norwalk State Hospital, which was the state hospital for mental in 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 illness in the, back in the day. Um, and Marilyn, this was before Marilyn became a big star. So as soon as Marilyn became a big star and started making enough money, she had her move to Rockhaven because it was a better kind of environment. The women there were encouraged to get up, get dressed, go out and about, do crafts and cook and, and do all sorts. And Gladys stayed there till, and, and Marilyn paid for this on a, a monthly basis until she died. 
and then no money was forthcoming at this point from Marilyn's estate, although Marilyn had left a clause in her will for enough money to pay for Gladys's perpetual care within Rockhaven. Um, they let her stay there for quite a while until Bernice came over from Florida and took her back to Florida with her where Gladys lived until she died in 1984. Um, and there is some footage of Gladys that was used in the documentary uh, narrated by John Houston, The Legend of Marilyn Monroe, where you see Gladys walking around um, with Inez Melson, who was her guardian. Um, uh, walking in the grounds of Rockhaven. So it's fascinating. I mean, the gardens have changed a lot since then. Just simply because of the, you know, in those days there was a lot of lush greenery. Now it's not so much. It's, they've lost a lot of that, sadly. But... Uh, they do have a gardener in there currently working on it and making it nice again. So, so that was that's um, Jordan Lee. His channel is called Days with Jordan the Lion. He's previously done uh, videos not just on Marilyn. He's done you know he's done Westward where she's buried. He's done um, the Hollywood Museum of Death. He's done the Hollywood Museum. Uh, various cemeteries, Elvis Presley's house, Laurel, Stan Laurel's last house, and so on. And so he'll go around, um, and find vlogs. If you've got an idea of something you'd like to see and you have, and he hasn't done it, so by all means check him out. I, like I said, I will leave a link to him below. So this is going to be, uh, you know, go and have a look if there's something you like on there. If there's something he hasn't done you want to see and is in the Hollywood location, do do it. Just say, oh, how about this? And it may be that it's on his list to do. Um, he does have, um, sometimes he goes abroad. Um, so he went, I think, Hungary earlier this year. He's going to Belgium soon. And he'll vlog from those locations too. So it's not just local stuff, so it's great. Um... It's absolutely fantastic. So I will leave a link to Jordan, Days with Jordan the Lion in the, in the section below, in the notes below. So do go and check him out because he is absolutely a fantastic YouTuber. Um, so what I'm going to do is when I'm doing these colour and chats is I'm going to talk about a YouTuber. Not necessarily a colour tuber, but a YouTuber that I follow and why I think you might be interested in them. So sometimes it will be a colour tuber and sometimes it will be a... Someone like Jordan, who does focuses on mostly on Hollywood, but not just. For instance, he did the um, his Halloween video was brilliant when he went up and down Hollywood Boulevard, <laughs> um, filming the people in costumes. That was awesome. Um, so yeah, so yeah, so to go check out Days with Jordan the Lion, and you will love his little dog. He has a lovely dog named Jar. He's so cute. So you see a lot of his dog as well. So. So that's my YouTuber recommendation for this time. This is going to be just something I'm going to do. Um, I'm doing my colouring catch-ups just because it's something to talk about. And like I said, it's something different. It's, he's not colour tube. But it might be something you find interesting. I mean, even if you don't watch all his videos, there will be something in there for you. But there is something in there for everyone. I don't watch all his videos. I mean, he does a lot of music-related stuff that I'm not interested in. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm not appreciative that he's done it, because I am, because other people do. Other people appreciate it. He did a section on Nirvana. Now, my other half loves Nirvana, so I said, oh, you got to watch this. He's, he's, he's doing something on Nirvana. And so Paul watched it. So there, there is something on there for everyone. So I will have a look through my YouTube uh, subscriptions to see who we're going to feature next um, for the next colour and chat. Now, we haven't actually done much, have we? <laughs> and my battery's going. I'm going to go into get a new battery. And then I will be back for another 10 minutes. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Well, there we are.
we are, we're back. I don't know what's happening, I'm trying to focus. There we go. Um, so this is going to take a little while. I mean, do you want me to do this on camera or do you want me to start something else? Because, like I said, I'm going to make these a bit smaller because it took me like five hours to upload the hour one, the 54 minute one yesterday. Well, yesterday, the other day, whenever it was. And we're nearly, we're, we've gone, just gone 20 minutes when I went to get the battery. I have four batteries for this camera. And I never put in a fresh one when I start colouring. Which is silly. Really, because... Uh, um, so just doing a little hedges. And we'll, we'll use a, a different green over the top again and a lighter green for the fields. So I'm still doing um, non-fiction November, so but I'm not doing too well because I'm doing a lot of colouring instead. And I've also got some books to review. Because I requested three from NetGalley. One of them was a read now, which is fine. And the other two were requested. And uh, amazingly, I got approved for both. I never get approved for anything on NetGalley. <laughs> Very, very rare that I get approved. <laughs> so I was quite surprised when they both came through. One was from Pan Macmillan, and I'm really looking forward to it. One of them doesn't come out until next year, so I think it's next April. <laughs> so I'm not going to worry about that one, but the other two come out in November, so I'm going to try and do those. One's on the 17th, one's on the 23rd, or something like that anyway. So we'll try and get those done. I finally got the last pencil in the Color Softs, which was the white grey, which is nice. I think it'll be good for doing um, snow shadows and things like that. Somebody suggested sky blue from the Prisma Color range. So I will try both and see which one I prefer. So. Hmm. I haven't quite finished Hamish yet, but I thought I'd choose the trees. And a bit of the background. I'm still doing ivy, um, but I haven't had a chance to go and get some more um, pens yet. So, um, yeah, I need some more gel pens, but I can do, because I need the black one, I can do some of it because there is some green and some flowers. So I might do a bit more of that soon. And I'll try and finish off the ones I've got on the go, which are the ones from Hidden Garden and Autumn Scenes. So I don't want this to be too long because it will be uploaded when I'm on a 10 to 6 shift. So that means if I come in at 6, well I finish at 6, I get in at half past. If I put it straight on at half past and it takes 5 hours, that's half 11, which means I don't get to do anything else including watching my YouTubes. Well I can, because I can watch it on my TV, but it doesn't go very well. It tends to... Uh, uh, slows down the uploads and then of course it... interferes with playback on the others so they start you know buffering just goes loading 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 so I'm not gonna make this one a hugely long one but it's like Anne on a colorful life says you know you don't have to watch it all in one go if it is a long video you can watch 10 minutes and 20 minutes of it and then come back another time if you want to So, hmm. 
Once I think I get onto the green of the thing, it'll speed up the colour in because they're great big expansive things. Whereas at the moment, I'm doing little bits. But I, you know, like I said, I didn't want to colour in this. I was afraid of ruining it. And somebody else has said the same thing. So hello, Laverne. Um, but that's what it's for. And there are no rights or wrongs. If I wanted to, I mean, I know pixies are blue in Terry Pratchett's world. That's why I've coloured in blue. But if I wanted to colour in orange with purple spots, that would be fine because it's my colouring book and I will do whatever I want to. This weekend I am going to the theatre because my friend Anne Harrod is in a play at the Dolman called The Gingerbread Lady. I have no idea what it's about because I didn't go to any of the auditions this year for this season. So that's all the ones on that side now that it is a two page spread. So I'm just going to go and do the, um, the greenery on this side if it'll focus in. Hello, thank you. So I'm just gonna do this bit. I'm not careful, I'm gonna send my colours off flying. So like I said, I'm gonna put another colour over the top of this. I might do that off camera just because of the amount of time this is taking. Well, it's not that long really. If you think about it, we've done um, about an hour so far. Nope, till like hour and 20 minutes. It's quite funny because I sat there for three hours last night and coloured one picture all the way through. And that was the vampire. A vampire picture from Vampire 2, which of course I will show you when I do my next round of um, completed pages. Now that'll probably be around the beginning of December. Especially if I keep colouring at the pace I'm colouring at the moment. So if I do keep colouring like I am now, um, yeah, uh, like I said, I've finished four already. I got three on a go, including this one. And I've picked out my next one. So yeah, if I've got, uh, if I have uh, more than 10, which I probably will, I will then. And the front page from Ivy. So that's technically I've got four on the go. That I'm proactively working on, not just thinking about. So. So, the little green hedges and trees are looking quite good. I love my doing colour sauce, I must admit. I've got several sets of pencils. I've got the full set of colour soft, this full set of prismas, the feelers. I've got a few polychromos. I've got the Marco Raffines. I've got some Faber Castell classics. I really love this, the colour soft. Yeah, the, uh, I would love the Karen Dash Lumerscence and I'd love the Holbeins, but at the moment they are beyond my budget, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. I know my limitations financially, especially at the moment. But like I said in the last video, I did find a place where I can get my Prismas open stock. So I'm very happy about that because my Tus Tuscan Red is getting very low. And they also sell the colour sauce open as well. So probably in December's pay, which is usually, which I get before Christmas, but I don't use for Christmas, if, if that, you know what that means, because it's got to last the end of January. 
I will possibly order some pencils and I might add a couple of open stock polychromos to that as well because every now and again I buy a couple of polychromos open stock. They're one pound eighty in um, Hobbycraft, and I think they're like one pound thirty or one pound twenty-five on Rainbow Fine Art pencils, which is great because I like them. I like them for skin colours, the the um, polychromos. I'm just going to finish off these this this layer of green, and then we'll have to call it a day because that's over thirty minutes. And we're looking at about three hours just like so basically for every 10 minutes of upload it takes about an hour i don't know whether that's just because we got crap wi-fi to use the language in britain or what i don't know i don't know so we did a bit of hamish on his clothes and we went over him, we did his gloves. And we went over him with a white blend, uh, white pencil just to blend it in. Because I'll go over the screen, probably on the next colour and catch up. Which will probably be when I'm on annual leave. And I probably will do an hour, I'll do a long one when I'm on annual leave because it doesn't really matter if I'm on annual leave I don't have to get up in the morning it means I can put it on later and stay up and watch movies it's just when I got work so for instance I got work this week so even though I don't start till 10 o'clock I don't want to be uploading until midnight I want to be in bed reading I want to be relaxing I want to be catching up with my youtubers so So I'm not worried about going outside the lines a little bit. I do have my uh, Duend eraser here. Which works. Just take them. I love my Duend eraser. You may think it's lazy. Because it's electric. But it's easier on the hands. So I think that's all. Yeah, that is all of the. Oh, hang on, there's a couple of them over here. I missed some. I missed them just here. You won't be able to see them, but I can. Now, I'm just having a look at what's in the background. So that could be like a scar in the landscape. I've noticed that there's a horse over here, a white horse. Is it? It's just here, underneath, underneath the right, and just there. Look. So let's have a look. Zoom it out. There we are. So we've done not very much. I mean, it's taken us. We've done nearly thirty-five minutes. We've done that. The all the trees and bushes on both sides of the page. We've done his trousers and top, and his gloves and his hair and blended his face in. So not a huge amount done, but um, not bad for 35 minutes. So I will leave it there. I'm just gonna tidy up around his feet. Hang on. There I hope you've enjoyed this little color in a catch up. Um, don't forget to check out Days with Jordan the Lion. I'll leave his link below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.